Hi, I'm Dan from UK Money Man. Um, this is a short video about equity release and the interest rates that apply to it. So, one of the big questions about equity release, and, and here we're really talking about lifetime mortgages, not any other sort of equity release. Um, there's an interest rate. So it's a loan from a bank like any other mortgage. Um, the interest rate, certainly on the initial amount that you take, is fixed for life. Um, now this interest rate is impacted by a number of things. Um, firstly, the interest rate that you pay is decided by the age of, uh, of the borrower, or the younger borrower if you're a couple, and the value of the property. So the lower the proportion of the property that you're borrowing, the lower the interest rate generally is. Um, the actual rate itself is affected by market conditions, it's affected by what's going on in the economy, inflation, things like that, just like any other interest rate. Now, one of the, uh, one of the key things with a lifetime mortgage is that you don't have to take all the money at once if you don't need it. In fact, it's probably a good idea not to. Um, now, with the, uh, with the drawdown plan, which is, which is what we call when you take it in, in stages, you would take an initial lump sum from as little as £10,000 with most lenders um, and then have an agreed sum in reserve which you can draw on as and when you need to, sometimes from as little as £500 a time. Now, each of those sections of money that you draw uh, would be at the prevailing rate at the time that you draw them. So that means that if it's two years on down the road and you've taken product A, your first drawdown would be the same interest rate as a new borrower would get product A at. So it is linked, it can't randomly change, but it will change with the interest rates at the time. So if it's a situation where your uh, circumstances mean that you need to take out equity release at a point where interest rates are quite high, um, if you're able to wait, then it may be that interest rates come down for when you need to access the rest of the money. This being said, it really is important to look at the other options available because a mainstream mortgage or a retirement interest only mortgage, some sort of specialist over 50s lending, all of these can provide a lower interest rate than equity release, particularly if you're looking at higher end borrowing. Um, so. Whereas equity release is great for a lot of people, the interest rate can be high. If you can't afford to make the repayments at that level, then uh, the, the interest can add on to the loan really quickly and, and erode the equity in your property. So it is important to consider all the options. And, and when I say all the options, you know that can include downsizing, that can include help from family, um, it can include grant funding if, if you're needing to raise money for adaptations to the property. Um, so, you know, speak to someone who can cover all the bases. Um, if you'd like to speak to me, that's fine. There's a, a link in the um, uh, in the description below. I'd be really happy to talk you through your options and and yeah, help you to get clear in your mind whether whether equity release and the interest rates that go along with it is something that's going to suit your circumstances.